Where's Chris? Where's Chris? Chris around here? We have a very good Chris. friend here, Chris. Chris! Where are you? I want you to tilt that, that amp up here. Just tilt that amp one. See if that's what it is. You know, Tom, there's nothing coming in here from us at all. I don't hear anything. So that's the only thing I got is this anemic amp. It's a Fender amp, by the way. <laughs> Wonderful. I didn't think you were going to do that. I'm going to do it. You got to yeah. move in. That's a Radio Shack break. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, when Les and I were together on the old Tonight Show, we agreed that it was kind of like riding a Bronco, wasn't it? Was, was the, you know, that yeah, thing. it sure was. When, when we did. and But we both enjoyed it. And... Uh, over the years, I've known Les for a long time, and my wife and I have been great friends, and we've, in the, we concluded a long time ago that in the pantheon of, of great guitar players, I mean, ranging from Django Reinhardt to Segovia, uh, Les has always been at the top of that, and, and that, that is a, a thing Les saluted to. Please go on. So when we... <laughs> So we don't come to New York much anymore. I retired in 1999. Retired, that's a, a nutty word. Uh, because I didn't get the hang of it. And it really is, I, I said yes when I should say no, and it got busier than when I was under contract to a network. And in fact, my, a secretary of mine said once, if, if I wish you'd go back to work, you'd have more free time. And, and she, <laughs> she was right. And this uh, activity is badly undercutting my goal of becoming the playboy of the Western world, which I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to do. But we had a chance to be in New York, and I knew that, that Les was uh, appearing here on Mondays. And he said, I'm going to be here on a Monday. We're going to come down. So we're very glad we did. And it's a great crowd and a great ah, show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Last wow. time Tony and I were together, we were with Count Basie. And oh. Count Basie was in a wheelchair, and and he sat on the edge of the bandstand, and we talked together. Tony, how are you? I'm just fine. Happy New Year to every you. Boy, you, you brought the else. New Year in for us. Yeah. <laughs> we watched you. We watched you on New Year's Eve. Yeah, let's do that tune that we did at the Hard Rock Cafe there. You got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. so what what can you do it in? See? You, see? Yeah, see, senor? See, <laughs> see, senor. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear that pitter pat? That lovely tune is your step Come on, just direct your feet Cause life can be sweet On the sunny side of the street I used to walk in the shade With all those blues on parade Free. This rover crossed over. If I never had a cent, I'd be rich as Rockefeller with gold dust at my feet on the sunny, sunny side of the street. That deserves a nice solo there. Come on, let's hear this. <laughs> that sounds so
sunset With all the blues on parade Now I'm not afraid This rover crossed over If I never had a cent I'd be rich as Rockefeller With gold dust right at my feet On the sunny, sunny side of the street Only less Paul can play that way Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to dedicate this to uh, corporate three-piece polyester idiots that wear ties that uh, decide what we listen to and what we don't. I think I think I'd have Les's approval on that. He's uh, been up against him all his life, and I'm part of the new generation. I want to be your personal manager, baby And do everything I can for you Your personal manager, baby, and do everything I can for you. That's one of your legs, Les. I'll be your milkman in the morning, tuck you in when the day is.
be your personal manager Do everything I can for you Personal manager Do everything I can for you Tuck you in. <laughs> Response requested. And tuck you in. Good. Play lead. Everybody play lead. And tuck you in. <laughs>
run out of shit. <laughs> hey, Frank, come on, give me some stuff, baby. <laughs> Every time I play with him, he just gets, goes, come on and look, you know what I mean? Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They've got some crazy little women there, and I'm gonna get me one. Be standing on the corner, 12th Street and Vine. Be standing on the corner, 12th Street and Vine. I with my Kansas City baby and a bottle of Kansas City wine. Mm, well, I might take a train, I might take a plane. If I have to walk alone, they're just the same. Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They've got some crazy little women there, and I'm gonna get me one. Work it out there, baby. Thank you. 
Jeff Bailey. His brain's on. <laughs> I don't believe this. He said, Holy Christ. <laughs> I'm from Tombstone. <laughs> I've been hearing about this band on the way out there in Tombstone. <laughs> I'm, I was born on a ranch. Yeah, you, you look like you were born on a ranch. <laughs> What's that for? <laughs> Back in the saddle again. Why? Why? I got I sure hope you got can you get that one to the piano alone? Can you make <laughs> he pulled the trigger and blew his brains out. <laughs> That's it. What do you want us to play everything up on octave? <laughs> Magic dragon lived by the sea, frolicked in the autumn mist, 
in a land called Hanali. Up the magic dragon lived by the sea. Frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Little Jack Paper loved that rascal pup. Brought him strings and sealing wax, other fancy stuff. Oh, Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea. Frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Anami. Puff the magic dragon. Lived by the sea, frolicked in the autumn mist, and called Hanali. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout, perched on Puff's gigantic tail, noble king. Princes would bow whenever they came. Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name. Sing it, Mary. <laughs> All of you sing it. Lived by frolicked in the autumn mist. Dragon lives forever, but not so little girls and little boys. Painted wings and giant's rays, they make way for other toys. One great night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. Off that mighty dragon. Ceased his fearless roar. His head, his head was bent in sorrow. Green scales fell like rain. Buff no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. This is yours, Lance. Magic dragon by the sea, product of the water, in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Of the magic dragon lived by the sea, frolic in. Joyous chorus.
Scott Carpenter. How are you? Thank you all. Every time I come to New York, I come to the Iridium to pay my respects to this blinding genius. But he keeps asking me, how high is the moon? And I tell him, I don't know, Les. <laughs> it's way out there, isn't it? There's, let me ask you something. You were up there. I ask you this every time you get up there so you can tell the people. How, well, first of all, I don't know how you get up the, the, the nerve and the, the ambition to want to be an astronaut and go way to hell out there. But now that you did all that, can you tell us something that we don't know about being out there looking at Earth? From being on Earth and looking out there. It's a good place to come to a very precious understanding that our home planet is not what we tend to call terra firma. It is not a big solid rock. It is a small delicate flower and it needs our tender loving care if we're going to keep going. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, Scott. Now, Luigi, let me get me. Okay. Oh, boy. Now, Uncle Frank. I've got no bottom. I've got no bottom. That looks good. Okay. One, two, three, four. Is there color out there, Frank? I don't know if that's Frank. Yes, that, yeah, that is Frank. Is it Lou? Is there color on, on us here, up here? Down yeah, low. Does it look nice or does it look awful? Seen almost in June. Oh, we've, been, we've done this before. Guys. We've done this before. I've got this on my wall already. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, the worst, yeah, worst yeah. instrument in the world. Yeah, yeah. The clarinet, the worst. Oh, yeah. I give him the guitar, and mother would say, Listen, son, he's a genius. The noise is coming out of the door, yeah.
can't do that with anything else. Unless you're going to play Because it was like, hey. Shake your head. No, right. Yeah, yeah no. Right I mean, on. Well, that's the thing about it. I mean, that's one of the things about you, isn't it? All the kind of innovation yeah. stuff, you know. Maybe you talk to people too. I mean, my kids know you as the man who invented the electric guitar. Mm -hmm. I can say, I mean, Les Paul and Mary says, is he, he's the man who invented the electric guitar, isn't he? Because that's like, you know, and to me, the multi-tracking thing is the other thing too. But like, it's well, just, how just that, so far how ahead of your time. Well, you just kind of see these new things. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I, mean, I can't say enough. You know what I mean? It's a long time, a long time I've been Stand. watching you. I love your stuff. Man. Chris. Hey, Les. As usual, you were like wonderful. Oh, no, 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 no. no, 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 no I mean that. I, and I enjoy those CDs. I'll tell you when I'm wonderful. No, I'm saying I enjoy those. I enjoy those CDs too. You know?